Explain like I'm five how Adderall works. A normal brain gets rewarded dopamine for doing normal things in completion. Folding laundry. Answering emails. Etc. It's like preferred member benefits. ADHD brain does not get the same rewards for doing normal things to completion. So it constantly looks for new things to get new member rewards learning a new song. Reading about a random fact. Discovering a new hobby. But new member rewards expire after the trial period so they move on to something new frequently. Adderall unlocks preferred member benefits dopamine in the ad brain. With ADHD, you have chronically low levels of certain chemicals neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine and serotonin because your brain is wired a bit differently. Because of this, your brain is making you frantically search for solutions to said deficiency. Hence the hyperactivity, attention issues, and or issues with executive function in general. Taking things like Adderall helps bring you back up to regular levels. No chemical deficiency reduced ADHD symptoms. It's also used for narcolepsy. But I don't know enough about that to comment. It's dopamine. Just energy and pleasure for people with normal dopamine levels. But for those with low dopamine to begin with ADHD. It gets them closer to normal levels. Hence producing a calming and focused effect. As opposed to jumping off the wall. Honestly. There is no explain like I'm five because medical science does not know the answer to this. You will get a lot of answers saying it raises levels of dopamine and such. But the truth is that. Like with most psychiatric disorders. Nobody has a good scientific understanding of what causes ADHD. We have empirical knowledge of what Adderall and similar stimulants do at the level of neurotransmission activity so yes, dopamine and norepinephrine probably play a key role but we have no consensus theories as to why those neurochemical effects alleviate ADHD. It's a CNS stimulant. Specifically four amphetamine salts that combine to act on dopamine receptors to improve focus, wakefulness, and cognitive acuity. Basically legalized speed that's given in micro doses to help those with low focus and attention. Bring both up to more normalized levels. Adderall is a stimulant that increases the concentration of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. Its exact mechanism of action in ADHD or narcolepsy is not known. Adderall increases the amount of neurotransmitters dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. This can help a person with ad increase focus on one thing. And simultaneously decrease focus on external things. Speaking as someone with ADHD. The best way to put it is that our brains aren't stimulated by much so the way it was put to me by a narcotics expert is that a stimulant to an already understimulated person essentially cancels it out. So it helps them regulate. A normal person has normal stimulation so the drug will feel like a high to them versus folks with ADHD get help by increasing the amount needed to be normal. I'm not sure but my adult kids ask me mom did you forget your meds when I don't take it. They can tell tired grimace. For folks with ADHD. The increase in dopamine helps the brain to focus on the things that are important. As well as figure out what those important things are. It helps to silence the noise for lack of a better term. Okay take meth. Manufacture it with a high level of quality control. Now give it to children. Profit. ADHD brain move fast. Body move slow. Meth Adderall make body move fast. Life is balanced. Anxiety body move fast. Brain move slow. Xanax make body move slow.
Life is balanced. Adderall takes blood from your body mostly your tummy and takes it up to your brain. It goes to the areas of your brain that make you awake and focused. It makes those parts work a little harder and as a result the patient requires a lot of water. Chemical deficiencies in your brain are a myth. Not sure why so many people are talking about that when the question was how does Adderall work? Not what is the theory behind ADHD? When I asked my doc how a stimulant can calm your mind. He eli 5 feet d with this analogy of executive function picture a classroom where the kids are running. Wild because the teacher is hung over and tired. You're giving a cup of strong coffee to the teacher. Not the kids. She wakes up and tells them all to sit down. Shut up. And open their books. I think people are just high on amphetamines and being high and able to get a lot of shit done you. Wanna believe that's how you're supposed to be normally. That's just my own opinion. Hey if you like Adderall try some crystal meth. It feels like the exact same except it's like Adderall's stronger more athletic older brother. Same shit. If you've done Adderall you've pretty much done some crystal meth. Just my own opinion please don't downvote me too much for my own opinion. I've done them all and don't hate on anyone for what they do or take. Brain makes happy chemical. Happy chemical in some parts of the brain let people focus. Some people have issues recognizing happy chemical and makes it hard to concentrate. Adderall helps those people better recognize happy chemical and lets them focus. Imagine you're driving a car in traffic. And the traffic lights are all functioning normal. With an ADHD brain. The traffic lights are all malfunctioning. Their lights are so dim that the ambient light is blending into them. You can't see the red or green lights so you just drive ahead. People think you're a dangerous driver but there is no red light. Adderall makes the red lights brighter so you can see where you need to stop. Your body has systems that make you go fast and systems that make you go slow. Adderall tells the fast system make Robin the Hood go fast and so it tells part of your heart and other related organs to do things that fast systems do e.g. pump harder, faster, dilate things constrict other things. I believe it also tells your brain to go fast. Fun fact taking Adderall amphetamine salt is basically like microdosing meth. Dopamine plays a role in memory, sleep, learning, body movements, and concentration. So, like some people have mentioned, it gives a steady supply of dopamine to the brain as people with ADHD have issues regulating dopamine. This is what I've gathered since my diagnosis. As the top comments said people with ADHD lack certain chemicals in the brain. And for Adderall specifically it increases the production of those chemicals to be sent out to the receptors. For Ritalin, instead of producing more chemicals, it sort of puts up a barrier around the receptors for said chemicals. I was diagnosed with ADHD in fourth grade and I've been on that shit a lot of my life since then. Ritalin is definitely more mellow than Adderall, with the same intended affect. Imagine having the brain power of a Ferrari and the brakes of a bicycle. That's ADHD Adderall evens out both fields. Imagine dopamine is ice cream. Your brain is like a restaurant. In a normal brain, the restaurant is able to make enough ice cream to meet demand. In an ADHD brain, either the restaurant is McDonald's or demand simply increases. Now, management doesn't like people waiting for ice cream. So they either install new machines or tell ice cream customers to go home. Adderall is a new ice cream machine.